cooking with Chris, and today we're going to be demonstrating how to make the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First, you'll need bread, preferably celery, the best. Then you'll need some jelly, doesn't matter what kind, any kind. And then you'll need creamy peanut butter because it's the best. And then you'll need a knife to spread it all around, and a plate to put it all on there. First, you'll take your bread, you unravel it. Of course, skip the first piece and grab two nice pieces of bread. You lay them on the plate, like so. Next, you'll take your creamy peanut butter. Creamy. Open it, like so. Look at that nice, fresh peanut butter right there. You'll take that satisfying first. And then you'll grab your piece of bread and you'll spread it. <laughs> like so. Try to get all the edges. Grab a little bit more if needed. Try to spread it all around. Sorry for my dog's noise in the background. Next, after that, you'll wipe off the excess peanut butter as best as you can. Open the jelly. Nice. We'll take a decent amount of jelly because we all know it's the best part of the sandwich, right? After you plop it on that piece of bread, pick it up, spread it. Again, try to get around those edges. It's very important to do that. Oops. And remember, the jelly, always the best part of the sandwich. So, as you see, we'll be getting more of it. Not too much though, because if you have too much jelly, it could ruin the whole sandwich. After you spread it, you're good. Pop it back down. As you see, we have one slice peanut butter, one slice jelly. You will then grab the peanut butter side. I'm not gonna do that, that's not how you do it. You put the jelly on top, like so. Next. Grab your knife. This is where it gets a little tricky. Now just follow along. You'll start right along the edge of it. You'll cut in a circular motion. See this? What we need there. Sorry about that. After you have it perfectly cut and you smash down the edges, as you see, you're done. Thanks for watching Cooking with Chris.